See your dad for a spell. No, Wendy. The last quarrel I had with Dad was enough. I'm not going back until he sends for me. Well, how about Nancy? Ain't you going to see her? Next time I see Nancy will be when I've saved enough cash to get married. We can buy a little ranch of our own. <laughs> Atta boy, Tom. That's the way I like to hear you talk. What do you say, boys? The last man in town buys a drink. Mr. Duncan, I just came in from the north end of the ranch, and Cap Smiley's men had already had three sides of that spring fenced in when I got there. Did his men tell you it was Smiley's orders? Yes, sir. Then Smiley rode up and said it was all right, since you and he had decided to join ranches. Did you join ranches? We talked about it, but nothing is signed, and I fool stand for Smiley fencing in any of my property. Well, I stopped him anyway. Smiley is kind of sore, but I told him that I didn't know anything about your private business. You did right, Scarface. See you in the morning. Okay. I'll have the payroll ready for you then. Good night, Mr. Duncan. Good night. Oh, hello, Mr. Heidecker. I didn't hear you come up on the porch. Yeah, hold it. Yeah. I had my rubber boots on. That's why I suppose. Oh, yeah. The boss in? Yeah, he's over there to death. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Well, I'm glad to see you looking so well, John. Well, my foot. Shot full of rheumatism, hardly able to walk, and a peck of trouble besides. <laughs> well, here's the $5,000 cash you wanted. Couldn't get any gold this time. Uh, just as good as gold. Anyway, better than to let it lie in the bank. You know, you must have a good deal of cash on hand now, John. Oh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the final draft of your will. Short and to the point. Just what I wanted. Only one question. Shoot. 
How will that affect Smiley in case I go partnership with him? Well, naturally, if you sign a partnership agreement, he'd be entitled to half of your estate. And the cash, too? Oh, no, no, not the cash. So long as you don't happen to have a joint bank account. Oh. <laughs> Nobody but Tom will ever know where to find the cash. When do you expect Tom back? Well, I wrote him two weeks ago. He ought to be here now. But maybe he was out on the range. Rust is the only one that understands me. And it don't talk back. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want me to draw up that partnership agreement for you and Tap Smiley? No, no. Not now. I won't sign nothing until Tom gets you back. <laughs> well, all right, John. You're the boss. I'll file the will. And you let me know when you get ready for the partnership. Oh. I hope Tom gets back soon. Goodbye, John. Good night. <laughs> uh, it sure is raining. Well, good night. Good night. <laughs> Hungry again, eh? Well, I got something for you. Yeah. Well, Tap, what are you doing here? Well, what do you think? Oh, nothing. Liquor's pretty wet. Dropping a lot of water. Might make a pool on the floor. I just got here. I want to find out about our agreement. What agreement? Oh, don't be silly. You know what I mean. Our agreement to consolidate 
the Duncan and Smiley ranches in one. Uh, how about it? Nothing doing, Tap. Why? I won't do anything so Tom gets here. What do you care about Tom? You quarrel with him, send him away. Now you're going to wait till he gets back? Yes, I am. What's he to you? He always antagonized you. You and he never could agree about anything. No matter what cause we had, he's my son, and I love him as my son. Is that clear? Oh, that's clear enough. But Tom's a harem scarum young fellow. He never could protect your interests like I could. Well, maybe not. But just the same, I'll take a chance on my own flesh and blood. Well, I don't blame you for sticking up for Tom. But just the same, just the same what? I ain't going to have him around sparking my daughter Nancy, if you get what I mean. So you think my son ain't good enough for your daughter, eh? That's what I mean. Get out of my house, Tep Smiley. I never want to see you again. My son is better than your whole tribe. Well, get out of here! What do you want? Oh, nothing. I heard a commotion. I thought something was wrong. Something is wrong. Somebody's snooping around. I wish you'd keep a close watch on the house night and day. All right, Mr. Duncan. Good night. Good night. You missed the whole board. That's a bet. Will it be whiskey? Sure. Okay. Say, <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, that'll cost you two bucks. <laughs> All right, Tom, it's your turn. Let's see how good you are now. now. Just to show you how easy this is, I'm going to do it with my eyes closed. Yeah? <laughs> Ready? Go. Ouch! Bullseye, eh? Bulldog, look where you landed. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what's the idea? Oh, wait a minute. We got a drink coming on you, partner. All right. Come on, everybody. Come on, boy. Hey, you nicked me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll throw straighter next time. <laughs> come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Yeah, come on. Come on, Bill. Bill. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, what do you have? I'll take this. Whiskey. 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 Here, you can have this one. I'll take this little thing right here. Well, here's the gold. Come on, we got a drink coming on you, Tom. Here she goes, boys. Up with her. Here we go. Enough for a couple. Oh, come, on, come on, come on, give us another one. Oh, well, well, well he keeps the words. Can I? Here's your mail, boys. Come and get it. Jack uh, Healy. Come on, boy. Uh, Tex Moffat. Yes, sir, that's me. And uh, Arizona Charlie Pike. Right here. And Tom Duncan. Right here. Right. That's everything, boys. Hey, Wendy. Oh, it's from your dad. Yeah. What did he say? I'll read it to you. All right. Dear Tom, I want you to let bygones be bygones and come home. I'm having trouble with neighboring ranches and have a hunch something's going to happen. Please don't disappoint me. I need you. Yours, Dad. You going, Tom? You bet I am. How about you, Wendy? <laughs> What a question. Where you go, I go. 
You're a real pal, Wendy. That's Tom Duncan. Now listen, fellas. When I jump him, back me up and pile in. We're with you. I know. But I don't want any stalling. You're getting plenty of dough for this job. And that letter don't look so good to me. There's something dead wrong. That's what I think. Come on, let's move you out of here. All right. So long, fellas. Bye, Slim. So long. Just a minute, Bart. I'm buying drinks for the crowd. That's very nice of you, my friend, but we're in a hurry. Thanks just the same. What's the idea? Can't you be social? I told you we were in a hurry. Oh, yeah? We're not good enough for your company, eh? Huh? Oh, don't be foolish. We're in a hurry, that's all. Oh, yeah? How would you like a punch in the nose? You fellows are looking for, but if you're itching for a fight, I'll give it to you. Pick on one at a time. It's okay with me. Fine lunch, Mr. Duncan. Wonderful chicken soup, wonderful basset duck, and very fine pudding. I don't feel like eating anything, Chicken Fat. Take it away. But, Mr. Duncan, I make everything special. Most special, the pudding, clients, extra good. Doctor, huh? Hey, you mind your own business. I don't need a doctor. All I need is for you to get the heck out of here. Yes, sir. But this pudding, very good, sir. Will you get out of here? Yes, sir. What's only the guinea of the guinea of bear? Why, why, you give me some of the Hey, what are you calling me? 
I said the pudding is very fine, sir. Get out of here! Yes, sir. <laughs> you old beggar, you can't have any of that meat, but I'll tell you what you can have. You can have single Kratz very best pudding. Have a look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Here goes. Come on down. Come on, Johnny. Tell which you Mr. Duncan, Mr. Duncan. What a shock! What's the matter, boss? I hear shot too. I run in, he dead. Dead. So, he dead too. Tired? Yes. Get me some beef. The lunch is on the table. Wendy, 
The old ranch looks pretty good to me. <laughs> it sure does. He sure made a quick getaway. Yeah. Let's hustle on over to the ranch house and keep our eye peeled on the way for him. All right. Stop in wet and hot as a pancake. Hello, Tom. Hello, Scarface. Hello, Wendy. Hello. When'd you get back? Just pulled in. You riding this horse while ago? Why, uh, yes, I just came back from town after seeing the sheriff. After seeing the sheriff? What about? I hate to be the one to tell you, Tom, but somebody shot your dad. Shot my dad? Yeah, and he's dead. Dead. I, John Thomas Duncan, of Silver City, State of Arizona, at the age of 76 years and being of sound and disposing mind and memory and not acting under duress, menace, fraud, or undue influence of any person whatever, do make, publish, and declare this my last will and testament in the manner following. That is to say, first, all my estate, ranch, housing, cattle, and horses go to my son, Tom Duncan. Secondly, furthermore, I have $50,000 concealed in my ranch house which also goes to my son, Tom. I shall later disclose the hiding place to him. What is this cash business? Do you know anything about it? Yes, well, no. I myself delivered at least $30,000 to your father in cash at various times. But why cash? Your father suffered a huge bank loss uh, in a failure some years ago. Since that time, he has insisted that all his profits be paid in cash. Have you any idea where the cash might be hidden? No, excepting this note. The last thing your father wrote and left unfinished. It might be a clue. What does it say? Dear Tom, I'm at the end of the trail. My enemies are closing in. I have left you the ranch and all the stock in my will, but there is $50,000 cash hidden in the house. You will find it if you follow. That's as far as he went. What do you suppose that means? You've got me, Tom. But it must be some clue to the missing cash. For my part, I think I've been double-crossed. What, Smiley? Well, you know, Tom, your dad and me was practically partners. And I think I ought to have been remembered in the will. Have you ever written agreement to that effect? Oh, no, not written. Sort of a verbal conversation. But that's enough for me. When I give my word, it's a deal. Smiley, any rightful claims you put in... You can be sure I'll straighten out. All right, but it don't look square to me. But Smiley! Come on, Nancy. I'll go get the team. What's the matter with your dad, Nancy? You know, I'm trying my best to be fair with him. Oh, don't blame him, Tom. Quick tempered. Good deal like your father used to be. I guess uh, men were just a couple of chips off the old blocks, huh? <laughs>
Come on, Nancy. We're ready. Well, I suppose everything is clear now, excepting the cash, which belongs to you, if you can find it. Yeah. Looks like Wendy and I are going to have to do a little prospecting. <laughs> okay, I got a keen nose for cash. Well, if you need me, you know where you can find me. Right out. Right. You know, Tom, there's something funny about that note that your dad never finished writing. You're right, Wendy. There's one thing sure. The man who killed Dad was after the cash. Let's see that note. All right. It's there on the table. What became of that note? Hardiker left it right here. That's right. Could be here. Dang! 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 Hey! Chloroform. Say, I haven't smelt that odor since my second wife crowned me with a rolling pin. An old sawbones put 16 stitches in my dome. <laughs> I wonder what happened to Sting. You know, when it's a funny thing. A fellow never misses his dad till he loses him. If I'd have stayed at home, maybe he'd still be here. Okay. Now Singh's gone. Well, talking about him ain't going to bring him back, Tom. Besides, it's about bedtime. Let's get some shut-eye. All right. Hear that? Somebody on the porch. Go out the back way, and I'll go the front. Up, anyway. Wendy's gone, just like seeing fat. Look here, Tom. I'm going to quit. You wouldn't do that, Scarface. Oh, yes, I would. These goings on are, are too much for me. Now, listen to me. You worked for my dad for 12 years. Don't that mean anything to you? Yes, it does. But, well... well
All right. I'll sure, stick it out you with you. As a cook, you're the best ranch foreman in the state. What's the matter now? More mystery? No, old boy. Your heart's in the right place. Forget about it. Let's go to town. I gotta tend to Dad's will. You saddle up the horses and I'll get the papers together. Okay. What happened? That fella shot me. Better get him. Will you be all right? Never mind me. Get him. Go get him, Tom. Here he comes now, boys. Get ready with this rope. Come on, boys, tie him up. Put him on your horse. Duncan. You know I don't want you to see him. Dad, I thought you and I settled that. I'm going. Well, you'll be sorry. off of there. You boys go on back to town. I'll take care of this fella. Come on in the house. Down. You watch this guy, Al, and see he won't get away. 
Don't worry, boss. He'll be safe with me. I'm going back and finish the rest of this job alone. Who's that? Forget it. All right. How'd you feel in my place? You said it's the first time. But don't think for a minute that you can get away with anything. I'll take your word for it, brother. You got a smoke? Sure. I guess I'm out. I'd give anything for a cigarette. I got a couple of packs in my saddlebag. I'll get them. But no shenanigans while I'm gone. <laughs> don't be silly. How far can I get? something, will you? What am I here for? Keep you out of trouble. Oh. Tell me, who's the fellow in the black cloak? Wouldn't you like to know? I sure would. He shot my foreman. Huh. Maybe your foreman got in the way. I see. Then I might get in the way, too. Maybe. Just make yourself to home. What are you so restless about? Just getting a little exercise. Can't you get it sitting in a chair? I think so. Come away from that window. Hey, you're cheating. Huh? Where? That ten of clubs right there.
Give me the sheriff's office, please. Hello, Sheriff. This is Tom Duncan. I wish you'd come over to my place pronto. There's something dead wrong over here. And please hurry. How'd you get out of here? I jumped through the trap door. Wendy and Singer bound the gags right over there. Tom! Release those men. The sheriff is coming. Okay. Tom. He's after the man who stole the money. Which way to go? That way.
Who is he? I think it's the man who killed my dad. Why, it's Bert Hardick, the lawyer. Well, Nancy, I've got a ranch. I've got some cash. Have I got the girl? What do you think? I ain't thinking. 